<laughs> we got you. Burton on Mono Red Goblins. Pierre Matteo Moreau on Jump Sacrifice. Hey. Opponent goes first. Hmm. hmm. I'd want to... I'm just thinking if I'd keep her mulligan if I'm branded right now. I'm on the draw. I'm on the draw with this hand against Jun Sacrifice. This this hand does not strike me as keepable. Yeah. Don't you lose to any two good cards or a removal spell? Yeah. Oh boy. So this is the bad end of it. <laughs> Jeez. That first hand was not keepable. No, I don't think the first hand was keepable. I don't think the first hand was keepable either. The second hand was obviously not keepable. Now the third hand, one of your lands is Frexian Tower, which, as good as that card can be, is not free. Right. No, this happens sometimes, but that seven card hand, I just, uh, you know, I I don't know a reasonable seven that that, that thing is competing. So, gotta try a little harder. I think that I think that opening hand is fine on the play. I think I probably keep that there, but on the draw, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I agree. On the play, I think it's defensible. All right, Cauldron Familiar. Ooh, we sped it up. Okay. Castle Embreath, your turn. Beatdowns. Witch's Oven. Oh, well. Pure with only one land. I'm going to sacrifice the cat to the oven, of course. Might be getting it back here momentarily. Mountain off the top makes things probably pretty easy here for Burton. We'll see. He's able to find that. In another oven okay there's a land well you said you said you weren't sure about the second castle in breath earlier today yeah <laughs> and and there you go <laughs> it's like you're from the future just seen this seen i've seen this story a million times the twists and turns are always a little bit different but i feel like you've been part of this story a couple of times absolutely yeah yeah you gotta really feel it. So now do we go to War Chief? Do we go to Chieftain? Do you go to just a simple Wily Goblin? Because you play a Wily Goblin, you get your treasure token. And that's more than enough to actually get the job done. You could also play a Wily Goblin and yeah, do a little of this action here. Sacrifice, play a matron. <laughs> See what you want to go get with a matron. Hmm. Could just be another Muxus. Another Muxus makes things like safe round discard or something if you care oh baby oh I'm oh good. the ma the master of trash you say well your opponent stalled on lands here it's reasonable to guess that at least a removal spell if not mayhem devil is part of the equation soon and so i think you need to give yourself some shot to to get through that now that can be muxus and overpowering it or it can mean taking out the trash, but I think it's got to be one of the two. Well, there's Mayhem Devil, and we know how that works in combination with Cauldron Familiar and Witches of Inns, plural, so that is a nice setup here. Now, you want to go to Muxus? You can right now. Can't stop you. It's going to have to be a pretty darn good Muxus, though, so let's see how this goes. All right, we got a couple of copies of Wily Goblin. A matron and a prospector. Okay, so. Not the best we've ever seen. Let's see. So you sacrifice one you, get it back one, to you. Sacrifice one you, get it back to you. Uh, I think you got to go get incinerator here, maybe. Yeah, I mean, the problem is that the, the mayhem devil makes this a lot more complicated. Mm -hmm. Because it, for whatever reason triggers off of sacrifices from both players. <laughs> yeah, that's correct. So it makes the prospector <laughs> thing a little bit trickier to, you know, once you basically, once you push the button, you're kind of committed to sacrificing all of your one time as goblins to make mana, yeah. which is fine. You can choose to do that, but you're not going to be able to keep anything. You might not even be able to keep Muxus when it's all said and done here. Yeah, that's kind of the problem now, because if you want to sacrifice all these goblins, which I think there's some, there, there's some want to do that. As you mentioned, you're going to be taking the damage for every goblin that you do sacrifice. Sacrifice Muxus as well. I think what Burton might be setting up is sacrifice those goblins to go get a Trash Master to be able to blow up these witches' ovens to be able to play on. Mm -hmm. That's what I think the setup is here. All 
really the only chance you got. So you got Trash Master at four float, and you got a Goblin to sacrifice it to in Wily Goblin, or you could, oh baby. Okay, I didn't see that coming. Down to four? That was just D.O.B., right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you just get this back. Yeah, you're just dead. Yep. Because every time you sack a food <laughs> to get the to get the uh, the cat back, I man, that's two damage. You take one from the food being sacrificed, one from the cat, whatever. So that that's takes right. care of that. That's and right. that was a, that was a game where uh, Murmuro missed <laughs> land drop two for two turns. I think. Jeez. Yeah, but no way to break up the the shop there, at Bayhem Devil, in an outlet, and you know. You, you, you might be able to overpower it with Muxus some amount of the time, but you kind of need to have a Lord baked into there. So you have enough two toughness to operate with such that the Mayhem Devil doesn't just uh, gun down everything once you make a move with Skirt Prospector or something else. So I think you're in favor of one Castle and Breath and Goblins. Yeah, does that sound right? I could buy two. It's just not free. You know, how do you feel about how many Frexian Towers do you think you should play? Probably one, maybe two, yeah. but probably one. See, I, I'm always scared of playing that second one, man. The first one's really good. That second one's got some real costs associated to it. I mean, a land that doesn't make red mana is, you know, it's just not free. It's yeah. whatever. But the ceiling's really high. I don't want to sell that short. If you told me that two was the right number, I could buy it. But I usually err a little bit more conservative in these spaces. I see an opening in here for Burton. Things don't get started until turn three. There's a mountain. Here comes the chief. Rawr. Braid's going to take care of that. Use the war chief instead of the chieftain there on turn three. Here's a cauldron familiar. There's another pathway. That's the turn back. Prospector was the draw. Chieftain appears to be the play. Not going to go to Krenko just yet. So, there's chieftain. Braid's going to take care of that. Here's Prospector. Pass that turn back. Nowhere to go. And now there's a Mayhem Devil. Well, well, well. Claim the foof. All right. And the first one's going to take care of the Prospector. You're going to sacrifice that. Well, enjoy your one damage. And now there's one. Okay. Next up, looks like we're going to the Matron. Matron's going to trigger. Hello, Muxus. No surprise there. Uh, you could play a mountain. You could just play Shatter Skull Smashing Tap. Looks like it's going to be Smashing Tap. Pass the turn back. Yeah, just make sure that it's rolled up for next turn. Yep, just go ahead and lock it right in. In comes the Mayhem Devil for three. And now here is the Muxus. War Chief and Chief Tin. And these bozos are going to attack. Quick block there from the Cauldron Familiar in for six points of damage. Let's actually call it seven. And Murrow is down to 12. This is a Woe Strider follow-up. Actually, hmm. Claim the first board, not bad. Take that War Chief. Excuse me, take that Chieftain. Leave the War Chief. Sacrifice some things. And now, put one damage there. Sacrifice the Goat Token. Finish it off. Okay, this is making Muxus a little bit worse as we go. Scry to the top. Chandra, not a bad draw. That's a pretty good find here, just because if you get rid of the Mayhem Devil, um, a, a lot of here's most powerful cards against you go down in value significantly. Interesting question here on what you want to do, Ashanji. You mentioned offing the Mayhem Devil. You could also see it get played plus it and then play Krinko. And then it's kind of like, hey, I got to answer a lot of different things here. Um, there's also the avenues you can go down with Goblin Matron. So we're going to see a Goblin Matron get played. This is going to be a Goblin Chieftain. These creatures are bigger. Swing. Everybody in. You have to block Muxus now. If you don't, you face lethal. Yeah, I don't... Well, is there any way to... No, at 12. You, know, you, gotta, yep. you just have to jump. I got that aggro brain working, baby. <laughs> I'm tuned in. I went through that kind of like I went through that low point around like round three, round four. I'm back now. That Indian food turned me on. And then the Olive just, Garden's gonna the Olive Garden's gonna take me home tonight into a sleep coma. <laughs> just feel just feeling that you're ripped up. Yeah, that's right. The Olive Garden's gonna put me down tonight. <laughs> <laughs> There's Castle Embreath. Here comes Chandra. 
We're going to plus, yeah, too. Well, we're not, not even going to see if we're going to plus four. Just know that it's over. Okay. Get ready here for game number three. They're all tied up. Modern Red Goblins, Jun Sacrifice, Burton, Murrow. Murrow going to be on the play here for G3. Hmm. Yes, indeed. Good stuff. Good stuff. Mux is, able to in front of us. Mux is able to overpower some amount of the time. That sort of big infrastructure. I kind of like Mux. This is a card. It's fun. I mean, I you know, I, I sort of question, like, is this fun in perpetuity? Does this kind of okay. does the joke kind of get old at a certain point? Yep. But if it was like one good card among, you know, 10 different decks or whatever, it seems awesome to me. Yeah, I, I, I don't want to see it all the time. It's kind of like what you've said in the past of doing coverage. You know, you celebrate all of Magic's library, but just all in small doses. So I'm fine with Muxus. Also, I don't, I don't. At this, at this stage of my life, I'm not like the biggest hater of RNG. Just like random no. stuff happening. There's a lot of random stuff that happens in the game. So it just doesn't. Yeah. Really very yeah. Like I'm, I'm actually just like I'm fine with some RNG stuff happening. You know, like when I was hyper competitive, I hated Cascade. But now it's just kind of like I don't know. Let's see what they show. Let's see if what I, happens. If but, I didn't listen to that, I, it just would have been something else. That's true. Plus, you know, Cascade... Well, I think it's because I was on the receiving end of Enlisted Ultimatum too often, which... <laughs> okay. Like... Right. That happens. It only takes once, that happening, where you're just like, you know what, I'm kind of off Cascade. For those of you unaware, Enlisted Ultimatum is Enlisted Worm into Petuminous Blast into uh, Bloodbraid Elf into Blightning. <laughs> that would be Enlisted Ultimatum. And it happened to me in a it happened to me in a pro tour. Thankfully, not the limited portion. Beat downs. Wily Goblin gonna get blocked. Goblin Matron gonna get through. Mux is in the hand. You better have an answer. There's also something interesting about goblins, and so far it's pretty it's pretty comforting to just go like, yes, I have many ways to find Muxus in my hand, right? And it's just like looming over the game the entire time. As the goblin player, that's got to feel pretty good. As the opponent, I have no comment. Well, I, I do like that it puts pressure on the other person to get the game over with. Like yeah. if you're ahead, you I, I'm a big fan of cards where you you get ahead, but the presence of this card in your deck means it's not just over. Like sure, your opponent's under some pressure to kill you or do something or else um, you know, you can potentially come back. I don't like watching or playing games where it's just obviously helpless and you're playing out the stretch. And Muxus makes it that, you know, it, it feels like you always got a shot no matter what the game looks like. Yeah, I agree with you. Bang, 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 bang. Well, Roast Rider's coming back from the graveyard. Eh, how about a Goblin Chieftain? Let's wrap this baby up. Good game indeed. Brandon Burton going to win this match over Pierre Mateo Murrow. Two games to one. Modern Red Goblin 